uh, understanding technique and basic principles of the body actions. So how to do it. So first of all, close your legs like this. Try to find the thighs rotational movement where you, without actually moving legs in any kind of way, able to rotate your thighs. So these muscles. So this is very important, the, the middle of your thighs, yeah. And the thighs are so powerful, they will rotate your hips and ribs together. Very good, so the, without rotating the upper, right. So that's number one you need to find. Now from here, you take about um, left thigh. So you're gonna rotate, rotate it as much as you can. And now bend your other leg, ankles together, toes apart, or could be toe to toe position, either way. But now what we need to understand is a spiraling rotation. What does it mean? So imagine on your leg, like a small spiral rotating. And as it's rotating, going up, traveling up and going on the back, let me turn the camera back, pressing you here. So that rotation from here rotates your thigh, rotates your hip, rotates your ribcage. And now pressing you forward from here, with like a finger press you here and sticking your rib cage out. But there is very small details here. Do not move your collarbone line and neckline should be always stay as long as possible. Now from here, we call it a button. So we create a button here. Now as I press this button, what is activate your tummy and it starts it start bringing your hip on the side forward. So it's like a little bit sense of contraction. And you see as I press it, it starts rotating as a spiral back and down. So it travels back, it takes hip, takes thigh, and same time it returns up as a spiral and press you here. So it happens, you know, same time. And uh, so, so here, if you want to have, a, it's two things happen here. Uh, you, if you want to have more button, more rib cage, you have to increase rotation. And now when you press button, it actually activates that rotation and creates button on the other side. Very good. And I just practice this to activate your body. And change. And change. And especially for girls, there is a small detail. So about your brushing this. So your knee should look diagonal here. And as you pressing the button, so the best movements, they start from body action travels down. As you press this button, make sure you connect your knees in diagonal before you change. So when you change, the legs already tight, not you're trying to close them as you go. Yeah. Okay. And three. if you don't have, and see your buttons a little bit facing down, they have to face forward and up. Right, so now down, forward and up. Yeah, go. And quick and quick and slow. Beautiful, yes, quick and quick and slow. And quick and quick and slow. That's a body actions. Yeah, and quick and quick and slow. Quick and quick and slow. So now knowing this motion, we can do any dance, any movement, everything will be related to it. Even your arm style, which we'll show you later. Let's say we want to go side. So how are we going to do same same system? You have to tummy in, chest up. Now we start rotating your thigh, which actually creates the rib cage. And that rib cage is what's going to create a step. Yeah. And then you see you step with the rib cage and then you transfer weight with the rib cage. Now, if you want to change, you're going to use this button, press, which activate your tummy, activate your hip, in the rotational. Now you have uh, this button on the other side, which is gonna take you forward again. Very good. Press button. And one. So before, you just keep dancing, I'm gonna tell the story. So before people used to dance only with the legs, then there was, you know, change in dancing, people start using hips. And nowadays it's already body action. So people already use a lot of actions in the upper body. And then movement looks much more fuller and it's much more fun to dance. Yeah, and now we can go through every movement and we we try to dance it through the body actions. For example, 
I want to close my legs now. So I press this button in, rotate, 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 and that rotation closed the leg. But same time, I make sure I create this button. Okay. And quick, and quick. Now, if I want to move side, I don't want to move my leg side. I want to just move my head. I create this button and slow. And you know, always pay attention. You create button with the rotation, same time. And quick, and quick, and slow. If music very fast, you're gonna focus on creating those popping buttons. Boom, boom, boom. If music fast, boom. If music a little bit slower, you can more focus on creating buttons and actually closing them. Closing, closing, or opening. Boom, boom, like a pop, boom. Boom. So if there is cha-cha, for example, you would, in cha-cha, I would dance more as a pops. Boom. Boom. Chick, 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 chick. In rumba, I would be more focusing on pressing the button. Of course, you always create button, but you can play with that. Boom. So it depends on the speed, you can play with that. So now, let's say, take um, forward action. So always, before you move, you have to create a rib cage, your button, your this. So how are you going to do it? You're going to rotate your back thigh, high hip here, button. Now you start moving forward from pressing button in, which activates your timing, which activates your hips, rotate your legs, and here. And you see now already, before you step, you already have a button, which created by rotating the side. And now as you move, rotate your thigh, so your button take your leg, and then as you transfer, you still transfer with this button. And then now you cannot rotate anymore, you cannot do anymore. You press this button in, it changes. Go walk, changes, walk, changes. Now backward is a little bit, it's the same idea. It's just you have to find always, is it the right button or is it the left button? So we're going to change right. Oh, this is the left. This is the right. Left. Right, you always have to have right or left, so it's 50-50 choice. If you don't know which one, just do any. Okay, from here, rotate your thigh, and see as this leg comes in, you have this button. But here's a little trick. As your knee passing here, as your knee touch, now you have to press this button and change it on that. So now you have this high hip. That will allow you to transfer weight more gradually. Now keep this button and rotate. As the knee touching here, as they pass, you press this button. Whoa. So there is always change in the body. Boom. Boom. Now let's say if we want to do 90 degree sliding door for the lady part. You see, if I want to do 90, I will create button. I'll press button, time it, hip, and now that hip can take it. But same time when I land here, I create button again. Now from here, if I want to do a switch, press this button. I switch here to the bar. I transfer weight. Hit the button. Hit the button, go walk, and create button, step, boom, and create button, three, forward, and two, three, and forward. So when you uh, learn technique, when you just first came to the studio, you of course you want to learn your feet, then legs, then hips, then upper body, but when you dance, you want to be focusing on upper body only and hopefully this is a muscle memory. So if you do your choreography, let's say, it's the same ideas in every dance. Yeah. So already creating button, I go four, one, two, and three, and now close legs together. Up, no, and high like this, high, up. So let's say if we close legs together like this, two buttons up. So it's not your legs up, it's your ribcage up which takes your legs up. Now from here, press it in and walk, rib cage, walk. And now here, a forward walk turning. You can do, there is two ways. You can do by lifting this button more with the high hip and then changing them here. Or you can already change and turn on the low hip. Either way is good. But always have to have a body action. Yes. yes. And like, for example, here, you want to move forward, you want to, th that's the, this, this part and this part, that's what moves forward. See, now 
you turn you have to turn so everything comes from the let's see if i'm turning i'm not turning from my leg or from my hip i always turn from this rib cages these little buttons then your movement will have a value even if i want to simply lift my arm so stay here sorry let's say if i want to simply lift my arm yeah just just take care so if i want to lift my arm look what i do here yeah so i lift two buttons and then they affect my elbows yeah. so most of people they you know they do arms but the the ideal yeah so you see let's say if i want to lift my right arm i want to find my this button which created by the leg and then and then if i want to drop my arm look i press my button so it's react to my body yeah if i want to lift my arm very high boom 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 boom, boom here so you see so so if you use buttons you don't really need to remember to stretch or this because it's a natural way but let's say if i want to turn from here to there what i gonna do i can turn you know like this or with the shoulders whatever but if we talk about body actions Watch. So I create this button and imagine like this button, somebody pull this button up, boom. And same, of course, you need to train your legs to be pointed legs, straight legs. The same with the uh, arm. If I want to do it with the arm, because this uh, button, it turns you, it also lifts your arm. You can do it with the arm. If you want to put it down there. Yeah. Yeah. Let's say if you want to turn that leg more, use button more. And some people, they like to think more about turning than button. Or you can think also rib cage than turn. So it's either way, they work almost same time. And then go through it. It's in every dance. It's a body action. So this is body actions, hip action, leg action, foot action, arm style, posture. Postures from here to here. So this is this terminology are very essential to remember. Yeah. Let's go from that piece. Forward walk turn. Yeah. You see, and even your arm. Yes, 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 yes. Look. Yeah. So if you want to keep your frame, keep it from here. Look here. Go and going. Walk. And I here press this button. So rotate within the frame. And yeah, within the frame. Don't. And frame, what is the frame? So for the man, he doesn't like to feel the weight of the frame. So keep your hands like this. Yeah, like this, uh, this one here. So this is the frame. So I have my frame, I come in, boom. So this is zero weight on it. And, you understand? Walk, dance with the buttons, yes. And walk, and walk. So this snaky activity, inside your body boom and forward yeah and here is very important for the leg styling to turn turn from the thigh turn your leg out as much as you can yeah. right yeah press your button in and yes and i here to create more here you need to a little bit squeeze there right because this button has to face a little bit upward you don't want to face it down because that's your projection also also your energy projection when you perform you want to show your personality you you not show it only with your face and beautiful smile you show through the body through the button so that's a body actions walk and walk walk and also when you dance with the man let's back to the camera let's say when you dance with the man connection is not only arms here you know connecting it's also the man communicate to you through the upper body because you cannot see his leg and then you follow his upper body with your buttons create button change so now you know more when you change and if you want to challenge the man with your action or invite or project everything through here yeah so let's take it and two and three and four excellent and you see you forgot to close yeah, so very important. So you create it in order to press it to create a rotation from here. Boom, boom, boom. Closing the button, that's where you get momentum for your turn. Of course, you can open button and just swing yourself, but then you're not gonna have that breathingness, snakiness. 
Does that make sense? Let's do that rotation. And walk, walk, and walk. And now when you lift your knee, lift it from here into here, yes. Yes, so here. Uh, again, let's say if you want to project with your arm, boom. So from here to there, that's how to create projections. Project here, yeah. boom. Yeah, and here uh, for this piece, you would want to have, of course, ribcage. You wanna, you would want to have the, the developing of that piece yeah, through here longer and then there yeah so the most beautiful part is actually yeah yeah like this even slower like like here like almost the time stops and then you put it down right now from here you want to do a spiral press this button forward yeah yeah so press this button forward to slide a little bit yes and now through the very high button yeah reach it reach it and then press it in 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 like a oh this is where you project through the wall yeah and here when you do that changes you change in upper body then you move in upper body then you move right 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 and what yeah. Yeah, there's a, there was a little bit uh, lag. You need to correct it a little bit. The fourth, the other way, like this way. Yeah. We're gonna up and then bend. Up and then you have to yes, yes. You see, you're bending from projecting. You're not just bending. Right. Whoa. That's right. And walk. Yeah. yeah. Stop, stop, stop. So you wanna have you wanna have a button facing there. Yeah, right. Going back. Going back. Going back. Pressing button. And now press this button to switch. One forward. And walk and yes, yeah, so you wanna have that and 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 that that not just you know buttons buttons out in order to go in and they go in in order to go out so that's this is the, the what yeah what? 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 Ready? Excellent. And walk and I walk each step. And and I walk and this in here, this in here. Do it from there. Action. Walk. Through the body action. That's right. Yeah. So walk. And yeah, no, walk. 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 